This is the Momentum Podcast. Put yourself in this situation. You've just been told that you have two weeks before you'll be out of business. Two weeks. What would you do to get your business profitable again? The current crisis facing the world has dramatically shifted the needs of entrepreneurial business. Entrepreneurs have faced this situation far too many times this year. In today's episode of the Momentum Podcast, we're joined by a special guest, Matan Gavish of Fit Hit. Matan was told that he would have two weeks before he would be out of business. In fact, in the state where he operates, it became illegal to operate his business as a gym. This presentation was taken from a recent Sharfin Summit. The perspective Matan shared was powerful, and it shows the perseverance of entrepreneurs when their backs are against the wall. I hope you enjoy. I'm Alex Sharfin, and this is the Momentum Podcast, made for empire builders, game changers, trailblazers, shot takers, record breakers, world makers, and creators of all kinds. Those among us who can't turn it off and don't know why anyone would want to. We challenge complacency, destroy apathy, and we are obsessed with creating momentum so we can roll over bureaucracy and make our greatest contribution. Sure, we pay attention to their rules, but only so that we can bend them, break them, then rewrite them around our own. Own will. We don't accept our destiny. We define it. We don't understand defeat because you only lose if you stop, and we don't know how. While the rest of the world strives for average and clings desperately to the status quo, we are the minority, the few, who are willing to hallucinate there could be a better future. And instead of just daydreaming of what could be, we endure the vulnerability and exposure it takes to make it real. We are the evolutionary hunters, clearly the most important people in the world, because entrepreneurs are the only source of consistent, positive human evolution, and we always will be. So Matan is going to be talking about how the cadence helped him bounce back from near catastrophe. And um, so not to speak for Matan, because obviously he's going to tell his story, but he's been a member for quite some time. Um, Matan was in um, our accelerator program and then COVID hit and things just went sideways, all different kinds of ways. And um, then you, you have been really able to make a lot of adjustments. So when you submitted what you were going to talk about today, I got, so I did, I honestly, Matan, I didn't know a lot of the stuff that you had mentioned. So I was so excited about it because you really have just tr completely, it sounds like changed and, and made a lot of um, recovery from the situation that um, it created. So for, for those of you who don't know Matan, he had an, an in-person um, fitness facility in New York City, uh, which was hit very, very hard by COVID. And so um, Matan, I'm gonna let you speak to that in terms of how the sharpen processes helped you turn around a really, really difficult situation. All right, sounds great. So Deanna, thank you very much for the lovely intro. And uh, I can just say how, how exciting it is to see all these all these faces. It just means that you guys are doing something right on the Sharpen side. Uh, whoop, there goes the, there goes one of the awards. I usually keep my awards in a closet, they collect dust, but I figured I'll pull them out today in an attempt to impress y'all. But uh, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep it short. My, um, my idea for today is, uh, is to, if anybody has doubt regarding the process that every single one of you have signed up for, is to trust the process. Um, give you a little bit of a history. So we've created a company, a fitness company that uh, provides um, weight loss, nutrition, and mixes it with like self-defense and female empowerment. And we created this like thing that didn't really exist. Um, and um, and when I was when I just started with Charfin, we were we were kind of doing okay, but before COVID, uh, using the cadence, we actually, within a year, almost like quadrupled the size, of the, the size of the company and then qualified to like this award over here, which is the Inc. 5000 fastest growing companies uh, in, the, in the US, uh, which is an award that I wouldn't even think I'd, was possible for us to achieve before sitting in the, in the actual room of this virtual summit uh, a few years back when we were actually meeting each other in real life and talking to some real entrepreneurs. Now, what that has done, so here's the cool stuff, right? So we got this and, there's a, and the award is for 2020, but it's based on performance that is before 2020, which means before COVID. Well, what happened in real life is like, we hit this, you know, like multi-million dollar like uh, situation. We were probably in the top 
1% of 1% of gyms in the US as far as how many members and grow with the money and all this other stuff. And we were flying, riding really high. An unbelievable team that worked like a well-oiled machine because they're all working by the cadence and they're all true believers because we've created, like we just follow everything to the T and every, everybody on the team just wakes up in the morning ready to change the world with us. And then when COVID hit, when it hit New York, it became illegal to do what we do. And it's still illegal today, December, to do what we do. We are still not allowed to hold classes. We used to have huge class, 70, 80 people in a fitness class, you know, eight times a day. Like it was, it was nuts, the level of growth. And, uh, you know, so, so like, so what do you do when the thing that you are the best at and you set your mind to change your world with all of a sudden becomes something you're not, you're just not allowed to do. Um, you know, from a physical perspective, we lost, I would say 80% of the business within like the first month of COVID. So like we went back, I don't know, like seven, eight years in, in advancement and work like instantaneously. Uh, our expenses did not go down. <laughs> they stay exactly the same, which means we ran out of cash really quickly. In April, our CFO told us that we have 14 day cash runway to go out of business. We had two weeks to figure it out. Um, yeah, I'm sure a few people here can also relate to that, right? We all, we all got, everybody says it got knocked down sideways. I was like, I wish sideways. It was like, whoosh, like we went from riding really, really high, moving up really fast to hitting uh, truly low, like this is, this is like lower than seven years ago or eight years ago when we're just like getting started. So it was, um, it was there. So what needed to happen and this couldn't have happened without the sharp and cadence is we had to reinvent everything we had. So basically what I gave my team is that the new order of the day is we're starting over, starting with the client centric mission. We can't be who we were a month ago anymore. Our mission has to change because our mission today isn't working. Like our mission today does, does not exist. How do we know we are successful? In our actual mission, how do we know we are successful? There is a fit hit facility in every major city around the world. That's what we were working towards, opening, replicating our system, bringing in investors to, you know, eh, we want to bring $50 million, open 30 locations in two years. That, like, that was the mindset. What locations? There is no locations. There is no brick and mortar anymore. People aren't leaving their houses anymore. Like, like your dream is done. Like, it, it ain't happening. So what we did was we had to restart from scratch and we had to reinvent a new business. What is the, you know, we were, we were teaching people, you know, fitness and, and weight loss and, you know, and people came to us like in a good mood, trying to get in a better mood. People now couldn't even get out of bed in the morning. Uh, most, most of the people that are attracted to our program are actually uh, creators, entrepreneurs, people that, 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 <laughs> um, that are movers and shakers because when they come to us, we make the move and shake even harder. But what happened when everybody got hit the same way that we did, everybody lost control. And if you're an entrepreneur, you know that when you lose control, you, you lose everything. Um, so I was, I was looking at what was happening for me emotionally, four major emotions crept up fast, sadness, anger, uh, anxiety, fear, all four of them were hitting me from all directions. And I felt to myself that, you know what, if I feel like that, because I have just lost control of my dream, I've lost control of the path, I've lost control of everything, I am sure my community feels the same way. So for me to solve it for me and them, I have to recreate everything. So we created a new program that solves those problems to the community. And even though we lost, again, 80, maybe 90% of the business, like in the, first, in the, in the beginning, um, we figured that we're gonna, we're gonna have to just like recreate a whole new thing that gets people to get up in the morning and not just get up, but also make their bed. And we, we went from like this macro thing of, you know, change everything before and after pictures, learn fight skills, become a champion. We went competitive. We won all these awards, all these like, all these competitive um, uh, athletic and fighting awards. It wasn't, a, it wasn't about that anymore. We had to talk to people differently and we had to restructure everything. Now, for me to physically be able to do that, I needed a team that could now help me reinvent the thing. We were, oh, thank you, Adrian. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Joni. We were 
a team of 32. Um, so I grew I, under Sharfen uh, Cadence. I grew my team from like six to 32. Just understand like the level of growth in a year. Um, so I had a team of 32. Each and every one of them handpicked. Each and every one of them a wonderful human being. And at least 20 of them did not have room in this new world of mine. So you go through this like super painful process of letting go of some of the most brilliant people that totally sign up to your vision of what's reality, right? But what are you gonna do? There is no more front desk anymore. So our amazing front desk people are useless, right? Like there is no cleaning crew to clean because there's no facility for us to go to. Right? So I can understand like the depth of like personal issues. So after letting go 20 people in one day, in tears, like I actually cried on Zoom call. That's the first time that happened, right? We had to re, we had to redo everything. Now, here's here's what I love about this program, which is uh, it's because I come from the fitness world. It, I connect to it so so wholeheartedly. When you have the skill set, like when you have the skill set, it doesn't matter at what where at where you are. You can catch up a lot faster with the skills that you have. Like if you don't have to learn a whole new bunch of new skills, but you and you already have them, you put them into play and things will move a lot faster for you. So, you know, even though we lost like so much money and like lost almost everything, we had 14 days of cash run rate. I mean, within three months, we were seven figure run rate. A couple of months after that, we passed a million dollars in actual revenue. Um, and we're now like back on track. Like we want to hit this list again. Uh, it's not going to happen this year, unfortunately, because we're less than last year, but next year, like we know we're gonna hit it, we know, we know we're gonna be okay. And the reason I know it is because when we put the cadence into play, I forced my team to stretch to fit this new reality, right? So we've, we've, we've decided, okay, so we're no longer a gym. What are we? We're an internet company. Oh, like what, like we're Facebook now? Like now we're an internet company? Okay, well, how do we do this? All right, so what are, you know, what's your job? You are, you know, program director, okay. Now you're program director plus sound and video and figure out like what bandwidth means because I don't know that. And right, so the, so the fact that I had a platform to challenge my team to step up and come back with solutions to things that I don't know. I don't know how to run an internet company. I don't, right, I mean, now, now I do, <laughs> but then I didn't know how to run an internet company. I had the platform to make my team live up to the fact that they are amazing people and, uh, and grow, which means, again, it goes back to their four R's, right? So if your four R earlier today had to do with running an amazing class, now it's figuring out which applications to use, how to, how to connect with people remotely, how to get people excited remotely. It's a whole new set of skills that they had to build, but we were able to recognize what they were, put it in a four R document so it's in front of them. So all the works, all the job, every single person's job had to change. Our mission in the world had to change. We were now solving a different problem. And we were doing that with a, kind of like a news, like every day you would hear about a gym that went down and never reopened again. So I'm in a community of like a lot of gyms. And every day, another one buys the dust, another one buys the dust, another one goes under, another one is never coming back. This one is closed. And they're all hating on the government and they're all hating on the governor. And they, you know, and they're like, how come we're not getting help from the outside? How can we not get help from the outside? That's the little guys. Then the big guys started falling. Gold's Gym, out of business. New York Sports Club, out of business. Psych Fitness, out of business. Flywheel, out of business. Yoga Works, out of business. These are all 10-figure companies, right? <laughs> this is not seven-figure, eight-figure. These are like nine and 10-figure companies they can't figure it out. Meanwhile, I feel like I have this little, this little cheat code with the sharpened cadence, right? That they don't, you know? And I come to my team and I was like, hey, you're my marketing? There is a marketing person in a 10 figure company that couldn't figure it out, but you can. You are my program director. There's a program director in 24 hour fitness, a billion dollar company that can't figure it out, but you can. Why? Cause you, cause, cause we know how to do OTAs and they know, and they don't know how to do OTAs. So we're going to do that and we're going to figure it out. And really using the little details, the little nuggets that you get from this program, we've revamped an entire business eclipsed, in my opinion, the whole industry right now. Uh, and, and here's the beauty of it, right? What, what COVID did to fitness other than crushing it to the ground is that it evened out the playing field. More money in the bank 
didn't mean an advantage in real life, right? So Equinox, that probably spent $8 million to just open their location, right? Where they import their floors from Italy and they bring in the whatever, the chandeliers from whatever, and it's gorgeous. They don't have an advantage of me anymore. They run a class on Zoom online, just like I do. So how do I beat them in this new, in this new game? It, it had to come to people, right? I had to stretch my people more than they could stretch their people. I had to deliver a better product using the same exact tools because money didn't matter anymore, better than they do. And the only way that that could happen is to have a team that will die for your mission. And when I say die, I mean, half of my team took a pay cut below minimum wage. So it, they would have made more money quitting on my mission and go to minimum wage and they would have made more money. But for them, it was in, insane. It was a non-starter. It was a non-starter because they know that if we can figure it out, we'll do it. And I bet you that one of the reasons that all of these big companies couldn't handle it is because nobody was sold on their bigger mission of changing the world. Like they weren't, they weren't confronted with that. And at the same time, and I don't know if it's ego, I, I don't know. I, I wasn't in the room when they made decisions. Not one of them made huge decision to their, to their value proposition. Like, how am I changing the world? Oh, I can't open up my physical location? Well, then I guess I'm done, all right? Like there was no, I, don't, I didn't understand why with all the money and all the power and all the board members and all the, you know, like you got, you got resources. Why, don't, why aren't you challenging the very core of what you do and solve the problem that exists today that didn't exist three months ago? Um, so, so we made a hard pivot, uh, a, a really hard pivot. And the skill set, and this is and this is the cool part, right? Because you get that skill set right here, right? With mm -hmm. this coaching that you have right here. It's that skill set. It's a completely learned skill set. I didn't have that skill set in 2017. Right? Like it's a completely learned skill set. You go ahead and apply it, and now you can skip stages. Right? What took me eight years to build, I managed to quadruple in one year. I lost all of it and I managed to come back in five months because of this because of the skill set. You know, it's like fitness. Like if you ever try to lose weight, but you don't really have the, the, like the right formula, what's gonna happen in your life? You're gonna lose a little bit, you're gonna gain it, you're gonna lose it, you're gonna gain it. Like you don't, you don't really skip stages. You get somebody high level, gives you the formula and holds you accountable to it. Boom, you look different, you feel different, your energy is in the sky. And then let's say you get off the horse, it's very quickly you get on the horse. I just proved it, it's funny. Like I <laughs> just, I really love this like, this idea that formulas exist just to prove to the world, my, my wife was, uh, <laughs> Uh, we just just had a child. Oh, you know, so add to it a pregnant wife. <laughs> you know, add to the pressure of pregnant wife in COVID. Uh, then we had our kid, our, our daughter, two months ago. You know, just for the heck of it, when she was at her most pregnant, I decided to gain a bunch of weight with her to show people how fast I can, like, drop it under the worst conditions ever. No physical gym. You know, crazy work environment, 19-hour days, newborn, okay, which means you're up every two hours, whether you're like, you know, not 24-7. And if I can drop the weight and do it, anybody, anybody can do it. Why? Because I have the blueprint. Mm -hmm. And when I'm talking about, about business, this is the blueprint. Like you're getting it right here. This is not some conceptual fluff that, you know, gets you all excited and like you're going to do 20% of it. Like dive in is that my biggest goal to you is take, take everything and do it. And then if something doesn't work, go through that same process again. You know, just think about it. We were an Inc. 5000 company that we're now rethinking and recreating our mission statement. Talk about starting from zero. This is like a startup mentality, mm -hmm. right? Like it's nuts, uh, but we were able to do it because we got that little grid that says, you know, who do you want to serve? You know, what are you going to do for them? <laughs> I know you're going to successful. Like we just answer those questions again. Uh, and how, how much you mean it in the process is something is something that's very it's something that's very important. Those of you that are just starting out, I just want to tell you that there's going to be a few things here that are going to raise an eyebrow for you, like really daily huddles. Like I'm going to demand my team to meet every day, dude. We demanded it throughout COVID. Our team became so tight. I mean, we had it before COVID, but for some reason they thought maybe it should be something that we're giving up during COVID, and I insisted absolutely not. Like the cadence is what got us here. The cadence is what's going to get us through this thing. So let's not drop the ball just because nobody sleeps today. Yeah, I mean, you know, you show up tired. Like that's what's going. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> but but show up. 
What a powerful presentation about trusting the process and leaning into skills that you acquire as an entrepreneur. If you're ready to unlock the code that helped Matan go from having a business on the brink of bankruptcy to growing and making a massive contribution, we are ready to help you. If you go to billionairecode.com right now, you can get on a call with a member of our coaching team and find out which one of our coaching programs best fits the needs of your business right now. Let us show you the systems, the processes, the frameworks that we teach entrepreneurs that'll teach you to predictably grow your business in any market, even this one. Go to billionairecode.com. That's billionairecode.com.